Lucas we just saw. His main training partner is a PT. Oh no! Oh that, no! That's just a little unfortunate. But oh, that is you know yeah. that sets in the past now. We're getting into Nick Roy versus Tom Wardo, Fox versus Snake. Mm -hmm. Classic matchup. This is this is like this is what I think about when I think about Ultimate. You know, got Snake in there and then uh, some sort of rushdown. A <laughs> rushdown. Love to see it. Yeah, starting things off. Looking to it, I mean, we see Nick Roy just those setups as well as just making sure that he is in control of the pace. But Tom Morrow, very aggressive Fox player, as well as just there we go. Power cup. killing. So it is going to be the War of Two Wolves here. Not literally, because not wolf, <laughs> but you get what I mean. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you see Tom Morrow taking his time, you know, getting the opportunities when he can, but not uh, necessarily forcing himself in like we saw earlier with uh, mm -hmm. the Sora versus the Snake. Yeah, Tom Mardo is taking his time to make sure that he isn't getting overwhelmed by Nick Roy. But already, at, yeah, 99, this is, I believe, up till actually will kill here. And I think Nick just Roy knows the exact same. Yeah, just throw it out. There's the bear. And punishing the high recovery can be a little bit hard as Fox. Obviously, he has up air, but yeah. you always just run the risk of C4 or Snake just fast falling past you and up tilting. Mm -hmm. But Tom Morgan, no fear, 110%, three stocks to two. Yeah, at this point, Tom Mardo can just apply start applying pressure. He does have, um, you know, high percent to where he might not just care about getting hit by some grenades. But he's being cautious about it, making sure that he isn't just getting swept into something. That up tilt is not going to work as many times as you're going to throw it out. You have to catch them with something else. The footstool into the grenade. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we see Tom Wardo. Okay, a little bit of tomfoolery. Okay, yeah. Not no, sure yet. The, yep. no, the mystery. Unfortunate 157. Nick Roy has Get to it find under him. the Nikita. That was so slick. Oh. And knowing the that drop Nick down. Roy, no. Oh, unfortunate pull. Not sure if that was mm -hmm. a misinput or not, but you're gonna cause Nick Roy his second stock. Tom Wardo looking really good right now. Three stocks to one. Game one. You know, the stock, uh, if, if Nick does get, oh! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. okay. It's not smash 4, it's not smash 4. Not smash 4, not smash All right, yeah, let me pitch myself, let me pitch myself. It's not real, it's, it's not dream, real, it's, it's not dream, real. It's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. It's not real. Okay. Okay. Tom Water just keeping Nick back in this corner. It's, it's this gets... pressure, it's like he's rushing down, but just enough to where he isn't getting punished. Like, it's... It's not reckless. That's the word yes. that I'm looking for. Because Fox it's very calculated. Foxes can get reckless. Like Fox, iconic character from Melee, but is just aggressive rush down to a, like did he kind of his own fault. He ran up and up smash. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> there was no hesitation on that. He saw he saw Nick press one button and said, "Oh, you're dead for that." Like me when it, I'm. Yeah, me when I'm talking about uh, not aggressively rushing down and then immediately <laughs> aggressively rushes down into up smash and gets uh, gets something off of it. Way to go, Tom Wardo. You know, that was that was really well played. Loved seeing how calculated. Like, I love, once again, I'm not a big Fox guy, but watching both uh, him and Comet, wow. Like, just seeing that perfect level of aggression and mm -hmm. the conversion that they're getting is just chef's kiss. It's so good. Now, uh, does Nick Roy have another character or not? He used to have a Bowser. He, well, he still does. Yep. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I love Bowser. Uh, I love Bowser too. I love getting killed at 60. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't love playing against Bowser, but Bowser's you know, gonna live for a long time. And tough guy, you're just gonna whatever through it, through the damage. Like, like getting getting rid of one of Fox's quickest options, like jab, actually. It's so big. I know we didn't see much of it uh, game one just because, you know, grenade, obviously. Mm -hmm. But. Oh, you're eating percent for yeah. that. Bowser fire is just easy percent if you're able to get right at the good hit. And having moves like fair available to you as Bowser is going to be huge. It's basically a sword, you know? Yeah. Bowser has that good runoff forward air. He has a lot of uh, cheeky options, especially with uh, Bowser bomb uh, at the left. Or leg. just down air. Yeah, the down air <laughs> killing at. A hundred, which is crazy. Yeah, that's that is absurd. the forward. That could have been a forward air. I like seeing uh, up throw up uh, forward air or up air. 
just, yeah, Bowser is not going to die, except when he does Dug. fire the wrong way and gets <laughs> stuck on platform and dies. Hey, a little bit of a cheeky game so far, but Nick Roy, you know, looking good right so far, but Tom Wardo, here are the up airs. Keep the damage 56, going. 56, you can 63, not. 74, uh, uh, 84. Uh, ouch. Oh, oh. But that tough guy, though. He goes crazy, and I completely forgot to mention a uh, side beat. Oh uh, my god! These platforms are absolutely killing with Bowser Rage. What do you think? Like sixty percent? No, 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 no. It's closer to like ninety to a hundred with Rage. Uh, but the platforms do just give a little bit more in those mix-ups. Okay, yeah, you can't attack on the shield. Did not get the turnaround grab, and gonna be eating some percent for it. Tomorrow, just once again, just showing. Uh, a level of restriction in their aggression, you know, it's, we're talking about how it's just not uh, forced. Very smart play all around, but you're still fucked. At the end of the day, uh, about to get the fair here, you're dying, but oh, he, that should have been the back air. There, yeah, does, he picks it back one. up though. Tom Morrow up two stocks to one here, not a healthy stock though, 89%, he will die very soon, I think. Yeah. Any hit from Bowser is gonna be it. That's Except up for throw. this one. <laughs> yeah, he's waiting, seeing where he goes. And Th there it Bowser is. Bowser. Oh, no, what? Good yeah, good DI, good DI. You can DI into the corner, though it's very hard to do that. Oh, okay. That was super strange, but... Uh, I'm sorry that almost broke through, but here we go. Once again, 70% and getting punished off that Bowser Bomb. Trying to make his way over the platform, finally getting out of there. But yeah. might be a little too late. Eight at 99%. Bowser can kill a side B, but the back air might be the kill that he's looking for. That side beat is just the command grab confirmed, but like you can't fish for it. Nick Roy really just needs Nick, to find the stock Tom right Mordo now. Tom Mordo just knows that what he wants. He's thrown it out multiple times, hasn't gotten it once. Barrel was cross rage. stage. And okay, opting to go low against Bowser. Yeah, down tilt, not too framing. Bowser uh, down tilt is really good against uh, side B, so we're mostly just going to be seeing Firefoxes at ledge. Um, yeah. If uh, Nick Roy is at ledge, we are just going to be seeing Firefox. That's killing. Yeah, there we go. All right. Nick Roy needs to not make a single mistake, but same with Tom Wardo. Tom Wardo can just explode here. Absolutely. Oh, oh. my God. I'm like, you can't just air dodge into the platform and expect to not get punished for that. I don't know what Nick Roy. Nick Roy's got to find his way back on stage. 152. This is also scary for Tom Wardo because a few good hits and one F smash, and you're dead with Max Rage up, Bowser. Up throw near. This up is throw so back scary. That's this it. So oh, God. That's not going to take it. No, Fox, this is going to be an Fox X guard. Oh, yeah. there we are, though. That All one right. will. Tom Morrow not folding underneath the pressure. Could that was the too. that back and forth before he got hit by that first bear was the prime moment to throw on F smash because that would have killed. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just, I think it's really, really funny how in that game had that last stop, right? Nick Roy got two grabs that would have been game. Yeah. That's hilarious to me. That's why I love like, Bowser. I love watching Bowser because it's like, up throw Nair does what, 30, 40%? It does a lot, or you can do up throw into forward air to knock them off stage and just go for edge guard or at least uh, pressure. Oh, up throw fair and then run off stage fair and kill that 30? Yeah, that'd be really cool too. It could work, but since you're so high in the air, you're going to be at ledge length, and yeah. Bowser really benefits from the forward air runoff if you're lower than ledge length. But Going back know, to Snake. Despite, despite looking pretty good on the Bowser, I think, you know, this advantage was a little bit too stressful for Nick Roy. I think that's probably why we're going back. Uh, maybe also, you know, felt like he finally had a stage to go out of Snake. So, mm -hmm. regardless, game three here, Hollow Bastion. Oh, trying to opt for the roll into the C4 instead, eating so much percent. Woof. Yeah, seventy-two percent already, but these air dodges down. I'm not a fan of them. I don't know. If they're the best option, but also this could just be conditioning. Conditioning your opponent to think that you're just going to air dodge down. I don't know. It's it's definitely um, a strange habit, and especially against a character like Fox, which has the ability to run you down and just, you know, dash tech you and put you back in that disadvantage. It's, I'd like to see Nick Roy be a little more patient uh, when getting back to stage or rushing back to the uh, center stage. Yeah, uh, but gonna find the first the stock read. here though. Game three, only 118 percent on him. You know, obviously, obviously in their up smash percent range, but you know, rage on snake is never been a bad look. So, 
No, it hasn't been bad at all. And plus, these C4 or these grenades are just going to be putting on extra damage. And finally having the lead, it's going to allow Nick Roy to set up that wall that he loves to do. You know, just constantly sit in the corner, grenade, grenade, C4. Yeah. He's yeah just, you see him slowing it down quite a lot. Yeah, this this is like kind of that momentum shift. Just Tom Mario being behind is such a detriment to him. Finds the read up or the run up up smash. He literally he punished the grab of the grenade. That is insane reaction by Tom Wardo. Back throw. Okay. Yep. Here's the. Pita up smash. What are we looking for? How are we getting back? I think he blew up the grenade with by shooting it. There's no way that should have blown up that fast. Okay, but C4 is on the floor there. Does not find it. And Nick Roy's eating a lot of damage here. Still kind of healthy though compared to uh, Tom Wardo. Yeah. Takes okay down tilt. Good hit. Guy a grenade. What's he doing? Oh, playing with his own game. C4 is sitting right there. Nick Roy baiting for the C4. Waiting but to pull it. Tom Wardo knows. Hope he yeah, Tom Wardo yeah. knows. He ran right over it. No fear, knowing that Nick Roy can't react in time to that. Mm -hmm. Fox is too fast of a character. Ooh, raw aspect hit. perspective, but. There we go, Press. Nick Roy on ledge. Yeah. What will Fox do? Got some of the best back therapy, but back throw is gonna find it. Yep. Find the stock. One stock to two now. Nick Roy looking to find a game of his own here. Yeah, Nick Roy is looking to close out on this stock and get this first game, get on the board somewhere. But he is playing that game, just dancing around the C4, hoping that Tom Warrior forgets. Instead, e yeah, eating it. And now we're at one stock apiece. Not as comfortable as he wants to be on this last stock situation here. I was gonna say C4 was sitting over there. Instead, opt to reset it. Now sitting in the middle. All right. High recovery claim center stage by putting himself back in the corner. Tom Wardo in the not in the it. best position right now. Illusions. Oh my God. And almost gets. Gets a forward smash to the face, and oh, I thought he died. Oh, wow. We're here to see this four is out. such a good juggle. This is such a scary situation. Nick Roy losing the lead for the first time in this game. He needs this lead right here, right now. Watch he needs C4. to keep it. Uh, then, oh, yeah. my God. The down, you know, the crowd <clears throat> allowed for that up smash to hit. That's yep. beautiful. Where's my Tom Wardo? Really great set right there. You know, Nick Roy. Definitely, definitely held his own there, but Tom Warrow just having that download, knowing knowing his win condition, and just playing his game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he played it very well.